What's up guys, how you guys doing? This is Ray. Today we're gonna look at Pro C2 Compressor by Fab Filter. I've been using this compressor for a while and this compressor is pretty neat. Now the first thing, it's gonna have its normal controls like most compressors. You know, you're gonna have your knee, you're gonna have your threshold ratio, you have your attack release, you have your gain, your auto gain, you have your dry, wet, and over here you have your knee, range, look ahead, hold, and sidechain. And we're gonna get to the sidechain in a little while. So over here I have a session by P5 Audio with some sounds that I purchased a couple of years back. And that's what I'm using for this video. So I'm gonna mute the microphone and I'm gonna play this, check it out. Nice. So let's open the compressor. And what I want to do, I want to solo and mute this track. I don't want to hear anything. I just want to show you uh, the compressor. So I'm going to press play. And you're not going to hear anything. This is pretty neat. So in real time, you can see what the compressor is doing. So if we mess with the threshold, check it out. Nice. So whenever you're adjusting anything, you can actually see it in real time as it's happening. You also have your normal uh, gain reduction here as well. So you have your in, out, and right in the center, you have your gain reduction. Now, if you don't want to see this, you can press display and it'll go away. And that's normally how I have it. So if you can see, you still have your in, your gain reduction, and your out right here, and that's fine. Another thing I want to take a look at, you have style. So you have clean, classic, opto, vocal mastering, bus, punch, and pumping. So I'm going to go through all of those. I'm going to mute the microphone and I'm going to just pick one by one and you guys check it out. See if you hear the difference. Pretty cool, right? So let's put that back to clean. Also, when you're selecting any of those, you can mess with the threshold ratio and attack and release. Now, one thing that I like about this plugin, the key input, and sure, a lot of compressors out there have it. You have the ability to side chain, but not all compressors have that function. All right, so now we're gonna talk about the side chain. The one cool thing I like about this, as you can see, it has So basically what's going on here, you can filter out the sound. Pretty interesting. So what I want to do, I want to turn the side chain on. So the next thing I want to do, you want to make sure you have set your key input. In this case, I created one called key. And now you want to come here, you have in and you also have external so if we keep it in in what's going to happen the sound on the track is going to trigger the compressor but if you want an external sound to trigger the compressor you want to put external and that's what i'm doing the kick is going to control this sound so let me show you before how it sounds So now what's gonna happen, it's gonna use that bus input. It's gonna use that key input. So the compressor is going to be triggered by the kick. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna come here to addition and we wanna listen to the signal.
Sweet, everything sounds good. I'm not really gonna mess with anything except the EQs. And I'm gonna enable the EQs. And in order to do that, you just right click, enable, right click, enable. That's it. Check it out. It definitely affects the way the kick is hitting the compressor as I'm cutting those frequencies. So let's unsolo the track and let's listen to everything together and see how it sounds. And at the same time, I'm gonna exaggerate things. That way it sticks out and you can really hear what's going on. I'm pretty sure you guys noticed as I was adjusting the threshold, the volume to the track got louder. Simple reason, auto gain is on. Normally I shut auto gain off, but for this video, I want you guys to understand what the compressor is doing. When another sound is triggering this compressor, I want you guys to actually hear it. So if everything is nice and subtle, you guys really wouldn't hear it, especially with the YouTube compression and all of that. So the point of this video is to show you how the plugin works. There you go, guys. That's Fab Filters Pro C2 compressor. Check the description. You're gonna have the link to this. You can try it out. Also, I'm gonna have some information on Sidechain. If you want to read some more on this, all that information will be in the description. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and I'm out of here. Later, guys. What's up, guys? How you guys doing? This is Ray, and in this video, I want to talk about running VST plugins inside of Pro Tools. Would be nice if one day we'll have that option. I don't think that'll ever happen, but there are ways you can run.